welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing really well this morning. It is Monday morning today. It's actually the 31st of Halloween today. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the 31st of October and it is Halloween is what I meant to say. So happy Halloween. I'm filming this on Halloween and oh my gosh, I've got so much to do today because yesterday on Sunday we had a Halloween party for the kids. It's the second year we've done it and we love doing it. But oh my gosh, I've got so much to tidy up. I didn't share it on here, I shared it on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the party. But I'll just whip you round and half of it's gone already, but I'll just show you like the gist of what I actually have to deal with today. There is still just, I mean, it's all sort of hanging off now, but fog machine, courtesy of Clint. I mean, <laughs> so extra. There's just stuff everywhere. I mean, what is that that I need to tidy up? There was a giant balloon arch here as well, but my friend um, took that with her. We've got some balloons over there. Also in the living room. <laughs> There's a lot to do in here as well. Spider webs. Oh my gosh. This um, sweet cart, this is kindly given to us to borrow from a local company called Embellished Events. And the balloons were all provided by another local company called Queen of Balloons, who's also a good friend of mine. So there you go. But this is obviously being collected today. I'm not keeping this. However, the balloons do have to be taken off. So I need to, that's the first thing I need to tackle. I need to get these balloons off before she comes to get the carts. Wish me luck with that. Happy Halloween. So yeah, that is, that's the main thing that I need to do today, is obviously just de-Halloween the house. Which seems weird, because it's actually Halloween today and I'm gonna be taking everything down. Which Leo was less than impressed about when I told him I'd be doing this today, he was not happy. But our Halloween party was yesterday and we are trick-or-treating elsewhere tonight. We're going to a friend's house to do trick-or-treating like in her, local area so there's no reason to keep any of this up obviously I'll keep the pumpkins by the door and I'm going to put a bowl of sweets outside um, so kids can help themselves if they walk past because we won't be here but yeah that is the main thing I need to do today guys I need to de haunted house my house <laughs> honestly go to my Instagram though to see um, the kids in their little costumes yesterday. Cooper was dressed as Baby Yoda and it was literally the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. So the lady is coming any second now to pick up that sweet cart. I popped to Sainsbury's this morning because I needed to get a new, I needed to get a new sleeping bag for Cooper because <laughs> he's still in like his first sleeping bag that he slept in and obviously he's growing out of it. So I went to Sainsbury's because they always have cute ones and they had this one here covered in like animals and it's a winter weight a 2.5 tog um how much was that so that was 16 pounds so there you go that was another thing on my to-do list thing today but then while i was there obviously there were other things that ended up falling mysteriously into my shopping trolley calling all fellow pokemon mums i know there's lots of you out there Long suffering fellow Pokemon mums run to Sainsbury's. They have the best Pokemon Christmas jumper you have ever seen. Leo is going to freak out when he sees this. Isn't that amazing? Sainsbury's always have really good Christmas jumpers. I got Leo a Star Wars one there last year. They always they always come through. This was 15 pounds. So I got Leo's Christmas jumper sorted. It wasn't on the to-do list, but Happy to get it sorted. Also got Coops a couple of pairs of long sleeve pajamas because yeah, always needed. And I got Leo a Christmas present, so he's not gonna get this today. This is gonna go in the Christmas stash. Nice little baby Yoda tie-dye t-shirt that was nine pounds, so ended up getting more than I bargained for, but all stuff that is um needed and will be well used okay so while cooper is happily playing i need to try and get those balloons off that cart the issue is here's the issue i'm terrified of popping balloons <laughs> terrified so i don't really know how i'm gonna go about this to be honest we're gonna see if i can get them off without popping them 
<clears throat> and put them in Leo's room or something until Clint's back home at the end of the week because I do not want to pop those balloons. cleared everything away this is all the halloween party stuff that will go back in the attic this is all rubbish that i would take to the skip i've got leftover drinks and those are my friend's bowls i need to give to her obviously there's toys everywhere because cooper <clears throat> is awake so there's no point tidying up while he's awake and that right he's stolen his brother's ipad which he loves to do when leo's at school i've kept a few balloons out for cooper and Leo to play with. The living, okay. I thought everything was tidied away and then I just came in here to have a wee and saw this. Forgot about this delight. So I'll be taking that off in a sec. But yeah, the sweet cart has gone from the living room. I have also put this on Facebook Marketplace and just seeing if anyone wants it. Maybe someone's having a party tonight and they'd like it. Just seems like it's such a waste to not have someone use it. But I took half of it, because that's only half the balloons. So the other half of the balloons I have put in Leo's room. For him to see when he gets home, I've put a little arch there and I've put the spider up on his bed as well and there's his new little Christmas jumper so he can come home and see all that after school so yeah basically basically done the main thing that I needed to do today so that's good honestly I've just come over feeling um a bit rough again I've actually not been well over the weekend which is just great isn't it because we had such a busy one there's always the way. I think I had a bit of tonsillitis. I wasn't able to like swallow properly all weekend. Today is the first day that I can like swallow without um, it really, really hurting. But my nose is now starting to block up and my head is starting to pound a little bit. Just, it's always the way, isn't it? I'd love to just go like a week without anyone in the house being ill. But as you saw at the beginning of the vlog, um, I was getting some cowpaw out, that was for Cooper. Cooper's full of cold. So I've got it from the kids. So like I said, I'm glad I've got that main main job done before I um, start to feel too rough. I think I'm just gonna chill. Oh my God. I think I'm just gonna chill with Coopsy for a minute because he'll go to bed in like 45 minutes. So I'm gonna have a little chill with him, make him some lunch and then he'll go to bed. When he goes to bed, I'm gonna get some work and um, admin stuff done. And I've got something else um, that I wanna share with you and show you when he's in bed as well. How cute was that? I'm so glad I caught that on camera. I could feel him next to me, like, getting heavier and heavier. Bless him, he's not himself. He doesn't want to, like, there's a million toys on the floor. <clears throat> and he just ain't interested today. Just literally wants to sit next to me, <laughs> stealing his brother's iPad without him knowing. Don't want to do anything else, to be honest. Um, he hadn't had lunch, but he's asleep, so 
he's in his bed he'll probably wake up starving and i just ran in there and put some snuffle babes on his chest to try and um clear his nose a bit while he's sleeping but yeah bless him not quite himself okay baby boy is in bed bless him absolutely sparko hopefully he'll have a really good nap as well and i will have a couple of hours um to myself to get some bits done like i said i've got some admin stuff that i need to do some emails to reply to that kind of thing but there's also something very very exciting that i can't wait to share with you so guys i am at the moment working with one of my favorite baby brands which i am a hundred percent sure you will be aware of already which is piccolo guys you will have seen piccolo all over all over the shelves in your local supermarket like i said piccolo is not new to us and um, i've been aware of this brand for a really long time i think since leo not just cooper so when they got in touch and asked if i wanted to try out their products and give a little review to my lovely subscribers on youtube i was obviously very much up for that and i know you guys love it when i recommend brands that i really really love and use every day so you're gonna see me talk about piccolo over three different vlogs and I will show you how versatile it is and how I use them, different products in different ways through the blogs. But for now, I just wanna sort of introduce you to the brand and give you a little overview of the range of their products because you might not be aware of how wide the range is. So Piccolo is a family brand, a family brand made for families. It's actually created by a fellow parent um, and she's also a nutritional expert. So obviously they know the realities of parenting and they know what we need and what our little ones need. All Piccolo products, so all the products that I will share with you are made with sustainably stored, are made with sustainably sourced organic ingredients. They are packed with fruit and veg, no palm oil either, and no added salt and no added sugar, unlike a lot of adult alternatives out there. I also have a link and a um, discount code because you can buy Piccolo products online, although as I said, they are all over the supermarkets as well. You can get them in Sainsbury's, Morrison's, Ocado, Waitrose, Tesco, Asda, and online. And I'm gonna give you the link for that in the description box, as well as my discount code. But guys, let me show you the full range of Piccolo products that there are to choose from. Like, look at this. This is extensive. Now, a lot of these I've used before and have seen in my local supermarket, but some of these products were new to me and I didn't realize that Piccolo did them, so maybe you'll be the same. So, Piccolo make snacks, toddler snacks. These are the new one that I didn't, I'd never actually tried these before, but yeah, these are the new firm favorite I was talking about. Cooper really enjoys these. They've got melty puffs, you know, in rings and stars and all sorts. Perfect on the go, like grab snacks. They also do pouches. You have most definitely seen these in your local supermarket. So we've got baby rice pouches. We've got um, pouches with whole grain oats. Then we also have pouches that are yogurt as well. So a little mix of what you get pouch wise. More snacks back here. We have the OT bars. We've got apple, carrot and orange. And we also have banana and cocoa. I think he'll really like those. We haven't tried these yet, but I'm pretty sure they'll go down really well. And then we also have the cooking range. As you can see, it's, as you can see it actually says Piccolo cooking on there. You can see that this is their cooking range over here you've got stirring sauces we've got tomato tomato mascarpone beef bolognese this one's very relevant today being halloween we've got pumpkin and cheese these are probably my favorite these are the piccolo cooking stock cubes so as i said before piccolo has no added salt or sugar no palm oil so as you can see these are very 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 low <clears throat> on salt whereas Adult alternative stock cubes can be pretty high in salt. So these are genius. Then we have the baby risotto. So this is suitable for one year plus. So this would be fine for Cooper. We got the tomato and basil risotto. And there's also a pea and courgette flavor as well. And then at the back, we have the baby pastas. How cute are these? We've got little butterflies. As you can see, they are 
if I put it next to my nail, you can see how small those little shapes are. And then the same in the shells as well. But yeah, this is the full range of what Piccolo has to offer for your little ones. I can't wait to try all of these things. A lot of these we have already tried. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, we have used a lot of these products anyway in the past and we have tried a few of the new ones already. But in my next couple of vlogs, I'm going to show you um, cooking a family meal using the Piccolo cooking range and show you how we use their snacks and their pouches when we're out on the go. I will link the website so that you can have a look at all of the Piccolo products for yourself or head down to your local supermarket like I mentioned earlier and I have my discount code for you as well. So Cooper is um, awake from his nap. He did not have a long nap like I was hoping he would and I felt progressively more rough over the last like two hours. My head is pounding and what's weird is Clint's just messaged me saying that he feels really really rough. So Cooper's obviously passed his lovely, lovely cold onto us and my head is pounding. But I still have stuff I need to do. I've just sat Cooper down with some, like a late lunch because he didn't eat before his nap. Not that he seems to have much of an appetite, but. So he is having his lunch over there and I need to um, sort out all of Leo's school uniforms. You can see behind me, they went back to school today. It's the first day of term today and I hadn't had any of his uniform ironed. Luckily, there was a clean set of uniform ironed and ready to go in his wardrobe because he had a non-uniform day on the last day of school. So that saved my butt last night, but today I do need to iron the rest of it. So I'm gonna make myself um, do all that and hang all that up and try, try to get this headache to go away. just pulled up outside Leo's school, ready to do the school run. We went to the tip on the way as well to get rid of that um, rubbish from the party. Honestly guys, my head, like this headache is otherworldly. Like it came out of nowhere. I felt I felt better this morning. Like I was saying to you, I was like, I felt rough at the weekend. I think I feel better now. And then it's weird because Clint texts me saying, I've definitely got Cooper's like cold, whatever it is. Um, and then my head started to go and it is so bad oh but it's halloween <laughs> so i'm going trick-or-treating and it's raining so that will make for interesting trick-or-treating later won't it in the pouring rain you know sometimes as parents you um you do things you don't necessarily want to do, but you put on a smile and you do it because it's so important to them, isn't it? Halloween is literally so important to him. It's like his favourite night of the year. So, headache, no headache. Rain, no rain. We will be going. I'm also going to get him to have his hair cut after school um, because I'm desperate for him to have it done before his school photos, which are on, I think they're on Wednesday. So, I'm desperate for it to have a trim before before school photos, he's not gonna be happy about that. He's never happy about, about that, but it's rain. So guys, yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you because I need to go get Leo, go get his haircut, and then it'll be trick or treating time. But thank you so much for tuning in and watching today. Don't forget all the links for Piccolo are down in the description box. And yeah, wish me luck tonight. <laughs> Hopefully next time I see you, whatever this horrible virus is, Koopy, hopefully we're all free of it. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys.